So to change So to change the oil filters you're going to lift this up right here and then you're going to use a one and one fourth to remove these so let's knock this out and um, complete the oil chain so two fill two oil filters go right here Oil change it is recommended to change all of these and um, you need to put some oil so the oil that you took from the truck you can just um, you can just use it
so with that oil filter you have to twist and turn to get it off and same thing right here i'm going to change the o-ring that came in the filter with the new filter and replace it you need to get it lubricated as well So with these filters as well, this filter, you want to um, lubricate the top of it and the bottom part of it. Just use the oil that you um, drain from it, the, the engine earlier or motor. goes on one way so you want to make sure twist Boom. and that's how that's how you change um the two filters Come on, um. so after you change the oil filter just go ahead and um add 11.5 gallon of recommended oil so that's what i'm about to do right now
just want to see it pour. So I'm um, using the new O-ring that comes on the that comes in the kit. Always replace the O-ring on both the filter caps and the the oil filter caps and the fuel filter caps. Always replace them. And make sure you lubricate before you put them on as well. So once you get the filter in, this is what I do um, to ensure that I can get it start right away. I normally prime the fuel primer until um, I can see fuel on the top of the bowl. So that's what I'm doing right now. see like the fuel comes right up to the bowl yeah that's what you want to do um, to avoid taking a long time to start see it's all the way up to the top so I'm gonna let the filter soak up some more of the fuel So once I close it, I'm going to prime it some more until it's stiff.
before you change the water separator filter right here go ahead and start the truck make sure um, the system is prime So after you change this filter, that's this guy right here, you want to turn that to the prime position, then you're going to prime the system like this. System. Until um, there is resistance, then you close it. Then you want to start the truck. As you can see guys the truck is running smoothly after I did the oil change which includes the oil pan the oil filter and also the fuel filter so that priming procedure is the best that I see work and um, apart from the bracket on the oil pan that I showed you guys how to take off everything is Okay. so if you made it to the end of this video thank you for watching please subscribe comment like share the video and i see you guys in the next video so just keep trucking